What's up guys, uh, this is Sunny and today I'm going to show you guys how to flash custom ROM in your HTC One X uh, right after you boot and unlock your bootloader you know, inst <coughs> install the recovery and stuff so it's a little bit different from uh, any other uh, like Samsung or anything so I'm going to show you you know, you have to uh, flash a uh, boot image uh, using a command to your phone before you flash any uh, custom ROM so if I'm uh, flashing a CM10 uh, CM10 ROM I have to extract the file and then take the boot image out go to command and flash the command first and then flash the ROM in my phone so um, you guys will see what I'm talking about you know when I'm I'll show you step by step so first thing first you have to put your uh, phone in the fast boot mode so hold the power button power button volume volume button down and the power button don't worry about that just keep holding it volume button down and power button together right there when you, now let the power button go keep holding the volume button down okay now connect your USB micro USB to your computer okay using your power button click right here power button it's gonna select fast boot okay it's supposed to say fast boot USB okay right there now you can put the phone down and now you're gonna do the rest in the computer so um, okay so I have a uh, CM10 nightly right here what I'll do let me just open a new folder you don't ha I have too many stuff in my desktop so I'm just making a new folder you don't have to okay new folder right here I'll just drag this one to my new folder the ROM okay now open that right click extract here you're gonna take one thing okay remember in my uh, my other video when I was showing you guys how to root and stuff and I made a uh, I made a folder in my C drive called Android you know if you guys didn't watch my last video you have to watch my last video okay how to root this one okay first of all guys you have to have HTC driver installed you have to have SDK installed SDK is the ADV you know you know you have to have all this or you cannot use the common you know so I'm gonna just just watch my step okay now just copy this file right click copy I'm gonna go to my C drive Okay, if you watch my last video, how to root this phone, then you know what it was that. Now that that file I made when I rooted my phone, cause I have to use the command to you know get into my phone and flash stuff. So, okay, Android, right? Don't worry. That's the last one I did, so I'm just gonna delete that. Okay, paste it here. Okay, now this is the boot image without the boot image you cannot install custom ROM in your HTC One X before you want to install custom ROM in your HTC One X you have to flash that boot image to your phone so this is how you do it hold shift button right click sorry hold shift button right click open comment window you see it's saying the Android right so type fast Fast boot flash boot boot image boot okay fast boot flash boot then again boot dot i m g okay so fast boot flash boot boot image so boot img boot dot img just you know post that part like when you're doing your uh, flashing the okay 
Okay, it's done. So now we are ready to flush the same RAM. Make sure the RAM you flushing, you need to extract that file, take the boot image, not any other RAM. You have to take that ROM boot image, take that out, and then use the command and then send it to your computer. And after that, you could flash that ROM. So, okay, so now we're gonna flash this ROM to our phone. Okay, so from here, what we'll do, we'll jump into recovery. So, click on the power button again on the top. Okay, now you see the green recovery. Click the power button again. Use the volume button uh, to go up and down and power button to select. So we're trying to get into a recovery. Okay, now we we are in our recovery. So first thing you need to do wipe factory. Okay, we're gonna wipe data factory set, right? Okay, wipe factory set complete. Now we're gonna go to cache. You're gonna clean cache. We're gonna go to delver cache. We're gonna clean that. Okay, after we're done, we're gonna go to install. And the same, the same file we extract in the com in in your PC, your computer, and we took that little boot image out. Same, it has to be same file. So, I did this one, uh, CM10.1201.30. You know the nightly. So that's that's the boot image I flushed in my phone. So I'm gonna flush this from. Okay, select, and that's it. And guys, make sure every time you flush uh, any custom ROM to your phone, make sure you flush the GAP file. Because without GAP file, you're not going to have uh, your uh, Google Now, you know, you're not going to have uh, play Google Play Store, Google Now, you're not going to have none of that. So make sure you do that. Make sure you always flush the GAP file. Okay, I'm going to flush the GAP file. Okay, before I flush the GAP file, Again, wipe factory. Okay, you know, factory reset again. Because we're trying to do a clean job. Thank clean cache, wipe cache. Okay, now we go to install and we're gonna install our cat file. If you don't do the step I show you, when I just show you here, your phone is not gonna boot up. You okay? From here, power off, and we're gonna turn back on. Okay. If you don't follow the step I show you, you are gonna get stuck in the you know boot logo, and it's gonna like if you in CM10, it's gonna just keep on uh, like spinning. You never gonna get load. It's never so. You have to do exactly how I'm showing you. Here we go, guys. So we just gotta um, wait. So make sure you follow all the step. Um, make sure you do exactly how I show you. So if you don't do that, you're just gonna get stuck in this uh, Sanjay uh, boot logo, boot logo. And uh, trust me, don't do that. It's really annoying. So it's not that hard. Anybody could do it. You just gotta know how to do it step by step. So um. Let's just wait until it boot up. Here we go. Wow. Ah, that's pretty good. Okay. Let me log into my Wi Fi real quick. Bum, bum, bum. my email this this is one of the best ROM CM10 works flawlessly with no problem so you guys know not run into any issue uh, last a video review I made with this ROM I had a little issue but that's fixed uh, so 
it works flawlessly so I'll definitely uh, suggest you guys to uh, guys to get this ROM because it's definitely a great ROM it's a uh, Sanjumar uh, 4.2.2 uh, uh, the, 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 the nightly so it's, it's not the stable version you guys could get the stable version from their website but it's not 4.2.2 they have 4.1.2 so there you go guys so this is how you install custom RAM your HTC One X and uh, it runs flawlessly I'm just gonna change my wallpaper I don't know I like Nexus 4 wallpaper so yeah, guys this is how you uh, the flash the custom RAM in this phone just follow this step and you will you will have a custom RAM running your phone uh, this is a great phone and guys if you like my video please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like my video it helps me a lot and uh, thank you for watching my video. Thanks.